Okay, after that, the, he, he still falls to the ground like you're talking about. Then what happened? That's when I, got, I, I, went, I went for his gun and I, I shot him in the head. Was it, where was his gun laying at? Under the seat. I thought you said he had it out on the seat. YouTube, y'all, just because, like, y'all not going down the path that everybody expects you to go down, or just because you not seeing the results that you want to see in the amount of time that you expected to see it, don't mean you going down the wrong path. Let, let me let y'all know that, because some of y'all will look over it or look on social media and be like, damn, like, this this person didn't graduate to school in this amount of time. They done got these accolades, or in this business, they going crazy, blah, blah, bro. Is that you though? Like, like you, and then you working hard enough. Like sometimes you gotta really sit back and be like, yeah, I'm working hard, but can I go harder? Or, or can I wake up a little bit earlier? Can I put a little bit more study time in this? Like, yo, we everybody always trying to find an excuse to to this or that, and I and I don't want y'all to be those type of people where y'all be like, well, at this age somebody did this to me, so it's they fault for the reason why I'm at where I'm at today. No, bro. No, I don't care what nobody did to you, bro. Look, at the end of the day, bro, like it happened. You gotta, you gotta get over it, bro. Like just because your mama said this, your daddy said this, bro. Fuck them, bro. Look, look. At the end of the day, if you got somewhere you wanna get to, you gonna have to get there. Your, your mama, your daddy, no, your friends, nobody gonna get you to, to, to point B when you at point A. At the end of the day, I love y'all. Look, I respect, I respect it, and I believe in it. Every one of y'all, look, I want y'all to really chase y'all goals. No matter, no matter if, if your goal is to be the garbage man, look, we need everybody. Everybody, everybody talking about you can't work a nine to five. Everybody tell, talking about you can't do, bro, you can do anything you put your fucking mind to. Literally, literally, it's so, it's so easy, but we make it so complex because we have these limited beliefs about ourselves. But look, y'all, we come with Michael Mitchell interrogation room confession. Yeah, 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 bro, y'all remember when we uh, reacted to a bro? Bro, bro, bro had a body in the back of his uh trunk. And he was at, bro, bro, act, bro was, hey, I ain't gonna lie, he was, he was playing the cool. I would have never expected, but it, it because the nigga was doing seventy some, seventy seven in the damn fifty. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead and get to the video. We want to have five hundred subscribers. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all. See, ya. wait, what the fuck? Let me get the fuck in. Let me get in the video. I'm tripping. <laughs> Drawing it towards me, and I was scared. I didn't know what to do. So I turned. I took the rest, I shot him. <laughs> and I had me stop shooting to the to the women's red out. <laughs> Who crying? Hey, this is our This is a step in the right direction, okay? Getting it off your chest. <laughs> that boy might be chilling. Oh, what the fuck you're right here, man? I'm on 18. On July 29th, 2020. Michael Mitchell was speeding, doing 73 in the 55 miles per hour zone when he was stopped by a Louisiana state trooper. During a traffic stop, the trooper became suspicious of bullet holes in the driver door and Michael did not know his address to his house and the trooper began to investigate. During his investigation, the trooper learned that the owner of the car, also named Michael, was reported missing out of Monroe, Louisiana. Mm. After 30 minutes into the traffic stop, the trooper opened the trunk and found the body of Michael Robinson Jr. There are two parts to this interrogation, one with video and one with only audio. So make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Baby. Did you have a wallet or anything on you when I stopped you? You got a driver's license? Just my phone. Okay, do you have a driver's license? I know you don't have it on you, but do you have one in general? Mm -hmm. Do you have like an ID or anything? I do, but not. I'm not in okay, that's good. She's sad, boy. 
part of let me speak on it real quick. Let me speak on it before we even get to before he say one word out his goddamn mouth. Like, why as young black men or young men, period, are we ending up in these situations, bro? It's sickening. It, it's really sickening to see, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This boy look like he's like 16, 17 years old. This one situation has changed his entire life. I don't know what 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 his sentence finna be. I don't know what they finna give, bro. And it don't matter. Cause no matter if it's Cause it's gonna it's gonna be some time, goddamn. It's gonna be some time. We 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 know that. So I'm just like, just imagine, like I don't know what his life looked like before any of this, or what type of influences he had in his life, but the fact that he ended up here says it all. Cause I don't know why he killed um this man, or what led up to this. But the fact that he ended up in this situation at this young age is sickening and it's sad to see. Cause cause you see it time and time again. Like when when is it gonna stop? And bro, we gotta change up here. Because literally, literally, it all starts up here. Like, like the the reason why most people kill is because of envy, jealousy, um, or it's about a girl or just some dumb it's just just dumb. It's it's about ego. Bro, let that shit go. Let it go. If you, bro, if you really want to make some money, if you really want to like change people's lives, bro, you gotta change up here first, bro. I'm telling you. Sad to see, bro. What's your name? Michael. Michael M I C H A E L. What's your last name, Michael? Mitchell. Michael Mitchell. Mm -hmm. What's your date of birth? I'm going to read you your rights before we do anything else, okay? If you have any questions Why after I read them, I'll explain it to you, okay? Why I'm not a lawyer, you're not a lawyer, but... Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Anything you say can and will be get used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. You understand that? If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning, if you wish. You understand that? If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you'll still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering questions at any time until you talk to the lawyer. You understand that? You care if we take these handcuffs off? You want to take those handcuffs off or you want to go full on? You're not going to run out if I take them off, are you? No. All right. I don't want to have a running time okay. to play today. You can stand all the way up. You know, you already yeah. Boy, that water look good, boy. I said, I said, oh, I said, 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 I Where could I, if I wanted to call you, where, what number would I call? Call me personally. Yeah. 318. I'm gonna say, why didn't why did they even show this, but I can't tell his age? Like, what? Alright, tell me what, uh, tell me why we're here, man. They called me on the phone and I was at home, so. One of my 
home my homeboy when he was around the corner. And he was like he was like he was like talking to him like, like yeah, like trying to make him feel comfortable or whatever. Like trying to be cool with him. And after that he ended like he ended up like talking Mike out of the car and at this point like Mike um Like he on the door and the car, like he just leaning up right there. Mm-hmm. After that, after that, shots just came out. Boom, boom, boom. Mike hit the ground. He he was holding his stomach. He was like, bro, you shot me in my stomach. After that, he ran to the he ran to the car because he knew Mike had he knew Mike had a gun too. Mm-hmm. He went and the grabbed Mike gun. Mike was on the ground. He just did it to him. And that was it. Did what to him? He shot him in the head. Okay. After that, he was like, after that, he was like, pop the trunk over here, pop the trunk. Pop the trunk. I, I just grabbed his legs, threw him in it. And after that, he took, he took the car, and I was like, he took the car with the black man, and I was gone. I was at home. So this morning, he, this morning he came and dropped, he came and dropped the car off over. He wanted me, like he wanted me to get rid of everything. Like dump the car, and black eye, all this together. And I was, cause I was scared too. Like I was scared he was gonna do the same to me if I didn't do what he said. Cause like I'm, you see me, I'm, I can't really do nothing. I'm, he bigger than me, I can't do nothing. So I just did what he said. And I was coming. Yeah, like coming towards Lansbury, and then that's when I got stuck. And then he popped the trunk, and then he shot my buddy. And... This is fucking sad, bro. So they saw Michael as a fucking lick. Mike, Mike had more mu- had uh, some money. So they saw him as an opportunity to rob and kill this man. Like, in my head, bro, like, this is sad. This is this is beyond sad because when you y'all jealous enough to come up with a fucking plan to rob and kill this nigga. But y'all couldn't ask nigga how to get some money or how he got some money or got to some money. Or y'all could y'all could come up with a plan to rob it, but y'all can't come up with a plan to get some money the right way. Y'all some lame ass niggas, boy. Lame as hell. Lame as hell. Lame as f- boy. You lame as hell. Nigga got a whole ass family. You wanna rob and kill him for what? For because he got more money than you. You jealous? And he probably and he probably and you know what? He probably put more work in than you. And this is why, and this is why you can't trust nobody, bro. Bro, probably, Mike, Mike probably thought these niggas was cool. He, he probably look, look this shit is stupid as hell, bro. Cause you got, bro, you got to put yourself in Mike position. Mike probably, Mike probably just wanted to t- talk to some niggas. You don't even know what Mike was going through. You didn't even give a. F- shit. shit, stupid boy. What's Mike's last name? Robinson. Mike Robinson. Y'all had to know. So let's let's. If you was comfortable back enough to tell do that. the story again, okay? When you said that your homeboys were going to set him up, set Mike up. Stupid. Who all is that? You doing right? It was, it was a few people, but it was only one person. It was only one person that pulled like he. Let's, let's start with him, okay? Cam. Cam. Cameron? Mm-hmm. What's Cameron's last name? By how old is Cameron? I think it's about my age. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. And what did he say to you when he called, or when, when, that, when y'all were together, or whatever, about that, Michael? Like, hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro. You know, you know, my love the stuff. All I need you to do is just he wanted me to just like get him high or whatever. And then he just took over the risk. And that's all. That's all he wanted me to do. So you said that y'all, he was bringing you back home, right? Mm-hmm. You can't Where touch you the live? soul, bro. In Richwood. Okay. What's your address? Can't trust a goddamn soul. Sad. Where were y'all 
if your house is a where we all kind of my house it come down to an intersection mm -hmm. and at the intersection you will make a right mm -hmm. and it was like right there on that street because it's like super dark you know like you can't see nothing really okay all right so we got Cameron he was the shooter right what did he shoot him with he had a charge nine how do you know that like I saw it was like he a charge nine he had a um, stand the cube okay all right who else all was there No bad reason. Come on, man. You already told me that a few people were there. You're doing really good, okay? You're doing the best thing you can do to help yourself. I hate to see you just give me a little and then hold out on a little, but then I don't know if you're telling the truth or not. Does that make sense? Bro, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Regardless what you say, nigga, you still getting time, nigga. You still... Nigga, you was riding in with a body in the trunk. You're still getting... No matter what you say, you're getting time. Like, I... <laughs> hey, hey. You at body time is 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 literally impossible. You are getting time, nigga. Hey, I don't even I don't know how long they gonna charge you at, but you getting some goddamn time. Boy. I believe you. I, I can see. They, they always say I that. I can see that you're telling the truth. But let's just go ahead and tell the whole story. Look, look at you. I can clearly tell that you're stressed. I believe my cousin. He believe my cousin. They stay saying that shit, bro. No matter where you from, bro. Who? Florida. Right. South no, Carolina, no. Alabama, Atlanta, they gonna always say the same shit. Okay. What was his role in this deal? He, he really didn't have a role. He was, he was just like, he was just at my house and we chill. Yeah. And after that, he was like, I want to say he was a he was a driver because he wasn't like he was just in his own car and he had and Cameron was in the car with him so yeah so when we had hit the street they was already parked like parked by my house because they were smoking so they was like they was just outside smoking kind of by my house. After that, when he had hit the street, that's when he had came around the corner to the dark street to my car and then he had what I told you before. Yeah. When when was all this? Last night. Last night about what time? Like, I'd say me and my cousin, we had left out about one something, but like we didn't get, we didn't pick Cameron up to about I don't know, three something maybe. And then we was just, I don't remember going home till like six something in the morning after all that. Wait, what time do you think the shoot happened? Um, I want to say around three or four maybe. Okay. Cause it was still pretty dark. Yeah. Alright. So what happened after it? Did you just walk on from there, or you drove the car? Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't drive the car after the shooting. He, after I helped him put the body in the trunk, he took the car. He drove off. Cool. Uh, he put. He took the spare tire out the trunk to put my in the trunk. Where did he put the spare tire? I had no idea. Cause I, I remember seeing him put it in the front seat, so he can like. Cause I guess it wouldn't fit in the back seat or whatever. So he just put it in the front seat, and he he hurried up and drove off. Yeah. Did he tell you where he was going last night? No, he stayed with him. Yeah, where did he live? Um, I know, I don't know the exact house. I know it's Dolly Lane, though. Okay. If I can get my phone, though, I can pull up the house and I'll put it on. Well, we can get to that. All right, tell me about today, then. Today, he's going to call me. It was about 11 something and I was still asleep and he woke me up, he called me, he was like, he was like, hey, you need to, I need you to, I need you to go take this car and, and, and take this body to me. 
I'm like, what you mean? Like, what you mean? What, what you want me to do with it? He was like, he was like, get rid of it. And like, he was sounding like, sounding aggressive. So I ain't want to just get into no altercation with him because I ain't want to end up like money. Because he obviously, he ain't he had no feeling when he did it, I guess, because Then what? Yeah, he dropped the car off with the keys, and I had at your house or you know was like plan to meet somewhere. I mean, we made like kind of by my house, but like not quite at my house. And after he, I told my mom I was like, I'm about to go. I'm gonna be gone for a little while. She was like, All right. And that's when I left, and I go um, first. First, I went to um, to Tallulah. Then Dale, I then came through Lansboro. And then that's when I got stuck. But he had gave me a spot to go. He like he told me where I can go trash the stuff in it. So that's what I was. That's what I was really on my way to. Bro, bro, imagine if they put. It. This fucking much energy into getting a job and starting a business and going to school. Like, like, y'all niggas, like, just, just, y'all priorities is fucking crazy. Y'all niggas in school, focus on school. Like, 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 like put this time to studying. And y'all could be up at 1, 4 in the morning, shit, study, nigga. Like, like y'all out here killing niggas for, because they got more money. For what? Bro, bro, y'all 19 years old. I can only imagine how much money he got. It's probably not that damn much. It's, he only like it's not like he walk around with a hundred k, two a million. Nigga, damn, like y'all killing niggas over. Let, okay, uh, let's lowball Mike. Mike, I don't know how much. Uh, RPT, I don't know how much you had, but let's say like at, at the utmost you had twenty to thirty thousand. Ooh, money, like nigga, they ain't money, but they ain't enough. bro, bro. That's not money. It's all about up here, nigga, bro. 20, 30, 20, 30, 000, what you gonna do with 20,000? Nothing. Nothing. God. Y'all niggas crazy. I got, like, I don't, I don't know the specific address. He just sent it to my phone and I just put it in, like, check it to get directions to it and just come up. Okay. What was your plan when you got there? I was just gonna leave. I was gonna get out of the car, leave the car there. And I was gonna try to get a ride back tomorrow and just try to leave it at the what all y'all? What all y'all get off Mike? He said he was loaded. I know he took. He took Mike's gun. What kind of gun was that? Mike had the same gun that he did. So it was both some Tauruses. All right, what else? I think that's he, because when Mike Mike fell, he had his he had his Apple Watch on. And I, I think I think that Apple, his Apple Watch and the phone is still in the car, I think. But that's all I know that he took for sure because he was like trying to, he was trying to hurry up and split. So yeah. that's all I know. Was there any dope in the car, money in the car? Uh, oh, we had smoked it already, so we wanted nothing really. So what did you mean when you said that he was loaded? I don't know. Like, I know me and Mike cool. We was cool. Y'all was cool? And y'all gunned this nigga down? Y'all was cool? And you let this nigga gun this nigga down? And then you threw that nigga body in the back of a truck? She, I gotta, hey, hey, I gotta, I gotta rethink what, what cool is, she. But y'all was cool. Cool? What the fuck? Man, DJ, re rewind that. Wait, what the fuck that boy just said? Was there any dope in the car, money in the car? That was cool. Uh, oh, we had smoked it already, so we wanted nothing, really. So what did you mean when you said that he was loaded? Um, like, I know me and Mike cool. We was cool. But I didn't, like, he said he was loaded, so I guess, like, he was, like, he had a lot of money. 
and he think he thought that Mike would be head like he just carry around cash on him. And he thought he was just gonna have a quick little come up. For what? Think I'm for me. Just now, okay? You sure you don't want some chips or something? That nigga don't deserve no damn Thank chips. Talking about, you want some damn chips or something? He don't deserve no chips. But let me speak on this real quick before they come back. This just pissed me off, bro. Bro, Mike was probably out the... Mike, one, for one, you talk too much talking about you got money. Bro, nobody supposed to know you got money. Two... Y'all looking for an easy come up, trying like to kill somebody to get to come up easy. You know what you sound? You sound pathetic. You sound sad as you, bro, bro, bro. You sound sad as a mother, bro. You, you, you rather, you don't want to put the work in. You rather kill somebody else to to get their money and come up. And then how you gonna feel like a dumbass? But you, bro, I, I don't even respect you. I, I, I don't even like this nigga no more. I, I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to know who Cameron is, bro. For what? For what? For what? For what? And one thing, not everything not what it seems, bro. He might look good on the outside. Bro, nigga have a, a brand new Mustang. Bro, he's broke. He just spent all his money on the Mustang, but you think he got money. Dumb. You shouldn't even want the damn chips. You shouldn't even want the chips. At least you get to drink some, bro. For what? Bro said he was cool with Mike. Bro said he ain't, they shouldn't let bro even say it. Tell, tell me about where you drove after you picked the car up this morning. When I picked it up, I went to uh, Toluga. I went to Toluga again. What'd you do in Toluga? I went to Toluga around to Toluga. I went to Toluga. Where'd you go? Toluga. 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 Four lane, like the interstate. Mm, I took the, it was like a, a highway 80. It was like one, one going this one, way. One going this way with some trees on both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was good. And this the way I take that to deal with. I got gas and then uh, and then that's when I came. Where, where did you get gas at? Uh, you don't have to tell me the name of it if you can just kind of tell me where it's at when you got it. It was like right by the uh, high school. Okay. The gas station right there. Okay. All right. So then, you're headed to Orangeburg. Tell me again why you were coming here exactly. He wanted me to to Cameron. He wanted me to um to leave a car in the body. He was like he wanted me to dump. Okay. All right. Did you ever did you ever let Cameron know that you got stopped? Do you think he knows by now that you got stopped? Was he like expecting you to let him know when you were done, or was he supposed to come pick you up? He blocked, like he blocked me on everything. Like he was stressing it so hard that we believed everything that we sent back and forth. So, like as of right now, like he got me blocked, so I can't yeah. contact him. Where? How? How are you gonna get picked up? Yeah. And how are you gonna get back tomorrow? I'll go call. My girlfriend, she was gonna bring pictures of you. Okay, what's her name? Just risking it all. This is crazy. 
I mean, this, this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but what's, who's your dad? My dad. What's he do for a living? What's he got to do with it? He's a problem here. A bridge for Mm-hmm. Right. Have you talked to him? I haven't talked to him, but... Do you live in his house? Okay. And what's your mom's name? And she, she knew that you were leaving? Tell me about the shooting. Just a little bit more. Imagine you're doing good. Like, what's she gonna think, bro? Let's try to focus on the location exactly where it happened. So, so, I, I'm not really like, familiar I, with Bridgeport. Okay? I can show y'all, like, exactly where it was at. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Say, 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 this Michael is telling everything, telling nothing but the truth. You gotta question who your friends is, bro. You gotta really question, like, the people that you hang around. And you gotta ask yourself, where I'm headed, is they, is they hindering me or helping me, bro? Because even if, even if, right, say, say, say everything that coming out of his mouth is the full truth, this bro, this, this nigga is still going to jail. No matter what. They, he going to jail. His life is forever changing just because he decided to be around the wrong people. And that's why I want y'all to really ask yourself, the people that you're around today, are they really hindering you or is they helping you get to where you want to? And it's sad that you got to think like that. It's sad like, oh, oh, they could be a family member. They could be whatever like whatever to you, bro. They could be your girlfriend, boyfriend, no matter what. Is they really help you get to where you want to get to? And, like, in some cases, bro, it's not even worth it. Like, it's not even worth, like, like in his case, it's not even worth, like, being around these type of people because now he got he got to put in a position. Say, say, bro, I was uh, keeping it 10 toes down because now he's snitching. Look, now he's snitching and look, say say somebody find out now they probably going to do something to him, his family, blah, blah, blah. It, like, it, it's not worth it no matter what, which way you look at it. Like, it's either jail, jail, or, or death, bro. Like, that's, that's literally what, bro, bro. My teacher broke it down to me, bro. Like, one, I'll never forget, bro. I was in sixth grade. I was a badass kid in sixth grade. Bro, she pulled me out, bro. She was like, Brandon, like, you you not a bad kid. You not a bad kid at all. She was like, like, people of your skin. Like, this crazy. Like, she said this. I ain't gonna lie. Like, look back, every time I say this story, I look back on it. I'm like, I was kind of racist. <laughs> but, but it's facts, though. Look, she said, like, people, like, black men always end up either jail or dead. And like, and, like, I think that was my first, like, waking up moment when I was like, damn, like, I started really looking around and, like, started peeping, like, from, from what it was. I was like, 
low key. All right, we gotta move different, bro. Like you shouldn't even want this for your life. You shouldn't even want, like as a grown black man, bro. If you got kids, bro, get the bro, get them out of this situation, bro. You shouldn't even want your kids to even go through nothing like this as a as a grown man. If you really on your shit, bro, take care of your kids. Like no no nobody should be going through this, bro. This shit's sad. He didn't tell you where he was going. About how many times you think he shot him? You say it the same every time, but we shot him in the stunt at the very first. I'm gonna say like, you remember? Three. It it was a, it was a few. It was like it wasn't like one or two. It was like five or six maybe. But I don't think the the clip he had was for. Cause he stopped shooting at one point to go get. He went to go get. He went to go get my gun out the car. And he used the gun. He used my gun to finish him off. Oh, he shot Mike in the head with the gun that he got out of the car. With, yeah, with Mike's gun. So he shot him with two guns, is what you're telling me? With two guns. Okay. Oh, that's good. That is why. So what else was in the car that he took out? I think that was it. Man, you remember just a minute ago? How when you started telling me the story? Your whole body changed because you... You're finally getting off your chest. What's been in there all day, right? So go ahead and get it. Go ahead and give me the rest of it. All right. Tell me what all was in the car that that he took out. See. Yeah, I can see you. you want to me? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably could have had some more, some more weed in him, maybe. But like I wasn't just really aware of what all he had in his car. Cause I, we was just smoking together, so I wasn't really like yeah. scoping the scene or nothing. Yeah. I was just doing my part to smoke with him. Yeah. Where was your cousin Smiley at? He was. He had his car parked right at the um, where he shot us. Yeah. And Cameron got out of his car. He got out of my cousin's car and walked to the uh, around the corner, and he met us right through. Well, what's your cousin drive? He was. Kind of like the the jeep that looked like a box. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta see him. Cameron. Where's Cameron live? He stayed on um, not too far from me. Um, Could you show us on the map? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, tell me a little bit more about this jeep. What color is it? It's silver. Does Smiley know that you're having to come down here to dump the car in the body? He was like, Smiley was just down here for me. Like, he wasn't, he wasn't involved in that. I'm, I'm not trying to get Smiley in trouble. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, he was just like, is that. he was chilling me. So, is he with y'all when you were smoking? Mm hmm. He yeah. was just me and Mike smoking by ourselves. Were y'all at your house or in the car or where were you? We were, um, we were smoking at from a apartment complex is around the corner from my house. These ones. Right here. You mean the original ties? No, no, that's the one was smoking it. Okay. Which real tie is nothing. And was He stayed in this neighborhood right here. Then mine? Mm-hmm. But I know I know what kind of houses be in front of like be at his house. Then I got I got like his exact address on my phone. W Lane, D O D I E Lane. He lying, he do some good ass line, I ain't gonna lie. He lying. Who all knows you're here? Not here. Who all knows that you were in the car? Nobody. It's a, it's a camera. Did y'all talk any last night? <coughs> you and Cameron? Or not last night, I guess it would be this morning. We talked face to face. Face to face last night before he drove off. And then he called this morning. What did he tell you last night face to face? Like 
like that's when we was that's when we was like trying to get the body in the trunk and stuff like that. And after that he just like look, we weren't really we weren't really there we were just exchanged it. You know, that was the last time we talked face to face. And then last time we really talked was this morning when he was talking about what he wanted me to do with the car and stuff like that. Anything else? You need anything to drink? I need a question. Yes, son? Can you your last ship? Okay, I'm going to put you back in handcuffs before we leave you. All right? Go ahead and stand up. Turn around. No, we may have to come back and talk to you. Yeah, again. we're going to come back and talk to you again. Let's you need something to do. Just follow her a little bit. Come on, you sit in the peripheral. Yeah, absolutely. As a black man, bro, I never want to see what it feel like to put a handcuffs behind my back unless it's in the bedroom. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not, hey, hey, I'm not even gonna lie, uh, bro. That's the only time I want to. That's the only time I ever want to know what some handcuffs feel like, but ain't no way, but ain't no way, but I'm not, no, bro. I'm not ever. Bro, my goal in life is never to end up in this situation, boy. But what? I, ne I never like it's so deep to the point. I never even want to be pulled over. Cause look, that might be, bro. That might be my first and last time being pulled over just by the color of my skin. But you crazy as hell, boy. Not, not, boy, I make sure, I make sure my light, my light good. That's what if I get if, when I get my gun or if I already got a gun. Cause I ain't gonna let nobody know I got a gun. Look, I'm gonna have a permit, even though I don't need a permit where I, where I live at. I'm gonna have a permit on oh, God. Look, you got look, you you gotta make sure everything in order. So like. You, they don't trip about nothing. They ain't got nothing to say. You gotta know your rights, bro. You got. I'm telling you, like, it, it's deep. It's deep. Cause look, they they'll throw anything on you. Mm mm. Can't be me. I ain't gonna do it like that. Mm mm. Boy got a lot on his mind, boy. I'm already knowing. Hey, buddy. Hey, um. Yeah. I'm Kevin Cobb, I'm the sheriff here. Okay. What I'd like to ask you is, you're 100% that's Michael Robinson on the trunk of that car. Yes, sir. Right? You know him. You, he's a friend of yours. Yes, sir. You know him, and you know that's who that is. Yes, sir. Okay. Have we shown him a picture of Michael Robinson? No, this is not Michael Robinson. Okay. Hold on one second. Do you have a picture of Michael Robinson in your phone? Mm -hmm. You want him to show us a picture? Sure. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm going to let you put your passcode in. Don't call anybody, don't text anybody, and don't try to crash your phone. Okay? Is there anywhere that his name is on this picture? Mm -hmm. 
You don't see his name anywhere. No. You just know who that is because you saw the picture. Mm -hmm. And who is he? Cameron. Cameron? Cameron, no. Okay. Him did all that's crazy, but really, like, he's singing, <laughs> like, he didn't hesitate. But he goes by smiling. Mm -hmm. Who all else did you tell me about? It was just him, and then he became. Already showed us, you've already showed us stuff in it, but we just want to make it official, okay? So I'm just filling out a consent to search. We're not going to tear it up or anything like that. It's just easy we put in your passcode. That's it, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. As sad as it is, bro, this on Michael too, bro. Cause he knew, he knew what he was getting himself into. He knew. Tell me your name again. Mark. Mm -hmm. He probably knew the full extent, but he knew something was gonna happen. If a nigga give you a plan to meet up with some nigga and do something with him, come on up. Is that they call that rich wood or more? Rich wood, like on a mailing address. It would be retorted, okay. <laughs> What's your passcode? No, 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 Slip it, location. How do you remember a passcode that moment? You don't have to. You got to Should go, you should be able to go to bro call uh, uh I think the police could like break into your shit like see like 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 how they blocked you like when time they blocked you what and they still see like deleted messages and shit. that's crazy that's crazy yeah. Yeah. It's like a, a lot, but right now I'm your butler, so you need anything else? Right. So you took it. I want some sour, um, some sour, uh, worms. Uh, 
Another water. I would have been you tripping. I would have been asked for everything, bro. Nigga, you gave all that information out for some damn Dorito in the water? I mean, I would never snitch. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> They they gonna they gonna they gonna get you right. Shit, give me some McDonald's. Matter of fact, never mind. Go to Jason's Deli. Uh, give me the chicken Alfredo. Where you got cam saved in your phone or anything? Jason Alfredo. Oh no, his name is Bismarck for trying to do brother cam. He wasn't saving my phone. It was what's his phone number? You don't have his phone number? Me and Kim, we was tasting off. Um, Look at him. How they come? I've been good so far. I'm, I'm like, I just wait. How you call me? Right now, I can't even say it. Do you know his phone number? I can. I can. I know him. I can give I can give his phone number for my best friend because I know they used to text. Yeah, what's his Facebook? In a second interview, things take a crazy turn. After the detectives interview other people, Michael's original story changed after being confronted by facts. So let's get into it. How am I gonna prove that a warrant was even there? Two that he shot him. Right now, the only person I got is you. Mm. You were driving the car. Mm. You have the opportunity because you've got the guns, right? I've got videos of you with a gun, with a Ruger, with an extended clip that you said he got shot with, that your cousin said that you only had six bullets in, which is exactly how many went into this guy's stomach before he got shot in the face. Mm. Everything just points to you. And nothing, nothing points to Cameron. He's going to be a free man shortly. And you I like this guy. This nigga said, this nigga, hey, hey, hey. Why does it feel like something out of a movie? He said, nothing, nothing. Look, look, the boy Cameron you talk about, that boy finna be free. But the only person for to be locked up is you, nigga. Look, look. You said Cameron. How many? How, how you knew how many bullets Cameron had in, the, in his in his uh in his clip? Nigga, hey, hey, we got you. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I like him. I like him. Hold up. All right. I've got videos of you with a gun, with a Ruger, with an extended clip that you said he got shot with. That your cousin said that you only had six bullets in which is exactly how many went into this guy's stomach before he got shot in the face. Mm. Everything no. just points to you. And nothing, nothing points to Cameron. He's going to be a free man shortly. <clears throat> and you're going to be in here for first degree murder because you did all this by yourself with no help. Smiley didn't see me with a gun. He didn't, I'm telling you, I did not get in Smiley's car with the gun. I got in, a, I got in his car with myself and I had my weed and a real old throw a little weed. So after that, I told him like I was gonna go with Mike. And at that point he went and got gas and he went and picked the camera up. He went and picked Cameron up, cause when he when we was there at first, Cameron was not with us. So when he left, he left to go get gas and, and handle his business or whatever. Cameron was back with him. How does he know Cameron? He know Cameron through me. He has he ever been around him before? Smiley, that was his first time being around him. Mm. Yeah, after that. Okay, so let's stop. Cameron, I mean, uh, Smiley. He left you. Did you give him instructions to go do something? Go pick somebody up? No. So he was riding around, going to get gas, and how did he wind up with Cameron? He, okay, I did tell him to go pick Cameron up. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the stuff you can't mess up on. But I wasn't with him at that point. He went to go get gas. He was picking Cameron up. So around the time... We got finished smoking. He was just, they was just posted up at the building, waiting on me. 
<clears throat> did Smiley at any point in time know what was about to happen? He wasn't. He wasn't in on looking. He was just. He was just here. So you used him for. Uh, why did you call him to start off with? At first, we was just like me and Smiley was chilling because that's my. Kick it. Yeah, we we was smoking over there because that's my cousin. Right. And at that point, yeah. So he didn't know. Smiley had no idea what was about to happen to Mike, or that Mike's gonna get robbed. Okay, Smiley told us that when he got with you. I smoked a little bit, and then you directed him to go pick up two of your homeboys that he don't know through the neighborhood, and you guys picked up two people. Who was the other one? He said one was in my pastor side. It was still at Richwood High School. The one. Damn, the whole family snitching. God damn, like, like, damn, the whole family. He snitching. Dang, he was trying to keep it real with Smiley. This, this, Smiley is telling like a <laughs> damn. That's crazy. back, had like a scruffy up, a beard, mm. but he had a young face. Pat. 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 Um, what's the last name? Because we don't, we don't go to school together no more. Who was the one sitting beside? Was it Cameron? Sitting beside. Who? Okay. Who did he pick up? He picked up. He said, y'all were there, and you directed him through the neighborhood. He don't know where the hell was that. He's from Bastrop. To pick up two guys. Mm -hmm. Who were the two guys that Smiley when he picked up? That would be Jay and Pat. Jay and Pat. What's Jay's real name? Whole name? Jawan. I don't know his last name. Come on, Michael. Help me here. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to, to help you, okay? I'm trying to. You care about your cousin? I do. Okay, if you do, this is how you help him. I'm getting out this place. I'm getting out with everything I know. Alright, so tell Jawan and Pat, what's Pat's name? Patrick. Patrick what? I don't know. Where'd they go to school? Richwood. Are they both still in school at Richwood? I believe so. Which one of them had the beard? Pat. And they live in Richwood? Mm hmm What does Juan look like? Does he have any facial hair? No, nah, he like it. Yeah, he a little shorter than me, dreads, dark skin. They got Facebooks? What's one? That's it? The whole thing? Mm hmm What's Pat's? I seen that one. I don't have Pat's on Facebook. Alright, so he picks up one and Pat. And then what? We go back. We go back and we start. We, we all start smoking back. We, we... Where? At the at the spot by my house, same we, place you and him were smoking mm -hmm. before, and we picked them up and we we all smoked together too. So I left them; they was all in a car together at the at the spot, and that's when Mike pulled up to come get me. And me and Mike left; we were smoking, and after that, he takes me. Okay, let's stop right there. So. You direct Smiley to go pick up these two dudes, okay. Jawan and Pat. Mm -hmm. Y'all go back and y'all start smoking. Mm -hmm. Cause they they want they want the match. That's fine. And then y'all sitting there smoking, and then Mike shows up <coughs> to pick you up. Mm -hmm. And after that, so you, you hop in the car with him, and you two leave and go. We go smoke again. Me and Mike go smoke. Where do you and Mike go smoke at? We smoked at the um, apartment complex. Like on the next street behind my house, the ones I showed each other. Okay, and then you just leave your cousin with Jawan and Patrick, two dudes he don't even know. Right, they're cool people, but yeah. I know that's what I'm saying. But I'm telling you this because that's what he sold us. Mm -hmm. He goes, I don't know these dudes. He goes, I got to know them. He goes, but I didn't really know them. Who was the one when you left? Who was the one in the back seat? They were, uh, they were both in the back seat because it was. Four. You was in the front seat. Yeah, I was in the passenger. Passenger seat. Okay. Who? Okay. Who was sitting behind? Um, Smiley in the back seat. Do you remember? Pat. Pat. Because I remember. But Pat was the beard, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Well, where, so where does Cameron Powell come in? He came in like after after I left them. 
So after that, he was like, like send me the gas money, bro. I'm about to go, I'm about to go get the gas, and I'm about to go scoop Cam up. Okay. So how did he know where to go scoop Cam up? Yeah. He, I gave, I gave him Cam, Cam's edges. Through, how'd you do that? We was on Facetime, so he just we was on the phone talking at that point. So you just knew what Cam's address was. I knew to the house though. I could have pulled it up. I mean, yeah, I could have pulled it up on my phone too to show you the same thing. All right. That's where y'all picked the move from, right? Mm-hmm. What's wrong with Cam? What you mean? There's something wrong in his head. He, he kind of, he kind of, but I want to say he just, something wrong with him, but he kind of, he kind of. Is he throw it off? A little bit? A little bit. He, he, he stutter a lot. He, he kind of act like he on edge sometimes. Like he, he act like he on edge sometimes. I want to say he throw it off or nothing like that though. So how did you and Cam line up when it was going to go down and where? Because I remember he, I told you he had, we had been talking about it the day before the year. So he wanted to uh, make it fall into place the day after. But where, like how did he know, how did y'all end up on the same, in the same spot? Me and Cam. Yeah. Cause you know he he was at the spot with my cousin, and I and Mike Mike was dropping me off back at the side street where he picked me up from, and after that he just he walked from the parking lot and I was like walking walking, like I didn't walk far away but I was still there cause I saw everything, but he was right there yeah and it was chopping it up or whatever. And Mike, he ended up getting Mike out the car, like, posted up on the car or whatever, and they still talking. So did Mike shoot back in? Because um, Mike, Mike, I don't think Mike seen it coming. Mike was just standing there. After that, he shot at Mike. Mike hit the ground, fell back by the, by the back tire of the car. And after that, because I was standing, I would say, It was a good distance between me and the car, but I could see I could see what Cam was doing. He he went after Mike was on the ground. He was hollering that he was hollering real loud. He was like, ah, you know, and he went to the he went to the driver's side. He was feeling under the seat. How did he 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 went to the driver's side? Like he went to, cause you know Cam he was standing like stand they were standing in front of each other. So when Mike hit the ground. He like he went in front of the door nothing no more because he fell by the back by the back tire of the car. So he he walked up to the driver's side and started feeling under the seat. And he pulled he pulled out a gun. And then he shot him right shot him right there in the head. Alright. And then when did Smiley come around the corner? He came around he came around the corner after the Cause he he was finna go, he heard the shots. He he came around the corner. He and he lived. But see, you told me that Smiley never saw you. You just said that here sitting there that Smiley never saw you from the time that you left him to go with Mike. That you never saw Smiley again. Yeah, I say after the shooting. Well, hell, that was after the shooting. shooting. It's just Smiley just coming. He corner. saw him. He turned. I know he did because he told us he did. Mm -hmm. We know a lot of things. But he was. But at that point, Cam was gone already. So he okay, where did Cam go? Where did Cam go? You told me that Cam left in the car. That's what I said. Y'all trying to make me. No, 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 all of this whole story has to go into a report that I have to write. I understand. Okay. Right. So when I send this thing up the chain and I say, hey, Michael Mitchell didn't shoot this guy. 
he just he helped set him up. He needs his legs switched, but he didn't pull the trigger, right? Yes, sir. Because that's what my that's what you want my report to say, right? Yes, sir. Well, to do that, I have to have all of my facts straight. Right, but let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. Right now, I've got it on two recordings. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one that says okay. Smile was around the corner. He never saw me after the shooting. Me and Cam loaded the body up, and then Cam left in the car. All right. Then I got you saying, I got Smiley saying, we heard the shooting, we drove around the corner, there was Michael Mitchell, no Cam. And you say, Cam was going already. And then I got another story, just now, that me and Cam loaded up the body, he jumps in the car and leaves, and now you're just standing there? It looks Smiley has nothing to lose. Well, he has a lot to lose, but he's not involved. So he told us a story that makes sense, that's understandable. Your, your story is the one that's not, it's not jiving. And here's why I think that, okay? I think that you're telling us a ton of truth. Like 95% of what you're saying is true. Okay. But 5%, you're trying to keep a homeboy out of a pinch or maybe not quite sound so bad. Or... I'm just trying to like... No, I'm just trying to keep them out of the way because they, they wasn't... They didn't but you no can't keep them out of the way. Let me keep them out of the way. Let me do my job. I'm going to do it. Like, I don't... I'm going to um, keep them out of the way. Have I put anybody else in jail? No. Have I already talked to Smiley? Yes. Is Smiley in jail? No. Smiley's at home. Let me keep them out of the way. You need to tell me the whole story or you going to get in the way more than you already are. Because Smiley's done told us a different story. Okay, he says they're sitting in the car, him, I'm assuming Jay and Pat, mm -hmm. two dudes he don't know. He's yeah, getting they, to know. He's in a car for four hours with him because you just bounce and he don't know where you're at. Mm -hmm. So crazy. they're sitting around the corner and they hear, well, he don't hear it. He said, one of the guys sitting next to him goes, here's, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. He's like, what? Turns the radio down and goes, that's gunshots. And then you FaceTime him. Now, mind you, we're going to get all that FaceTime stuff. We're going to get all this stuff. You FaceTime Smiley. Smiley goes, what? And you were telling Smiley that you shot this dude. The guy pulled a gun on you? Michael, I actually believe Joe sorry ass. I, I actually believe Joe sorry. <sighs> Just fucking play the video. And you uh, had to shoot him back. That's what Smiley saying us. So Smiley bounced around the corner. He said, I turned right. As soon as I hit the intersection and my lights sound across that car and I see that body on the ground, because I saw. He said, well, I ain't no part the, of this shit. Who's the only person there? A black Camaro with orange stripes. Michael Mitchell and Mike. Or the big guy. Ain't nobody else there. That's the picture that we got painted, and you know what? That makes sense. Now this is what he he's got nothing to, unless he's involved in trying to cover himself. Smile's got nothing to lose. He's I like, just don't want you covering for somebody that ain't covering for you. And he never saw Cameron. He never saw Cam that night, according to him. Mm. He looked at a picture of Cameron and said, I ain't never seen that man before in my life. I said, who be not trying to cover for his dude or Lisa's? How does he even know it? Why would he cover for some random guy and not cover for his cousin? That don't make any sense. He don't. Did you FaceTime him and tell him this ha this happened? I, I, I FaceTimed him. I, I, I FaceTimed him after, after shooting happened. Okay. And what did you tell him? I was like, bro, this dude just got shot. Like, and there's... Look here, let, let me say this, okay? The 18? I was 18 once. There wasn't many things that mattered to me when I was 18. All right? I'm a little guy, right? Look look at me. I'm a, I'm a whole 150 pounds. I'm a little bigger than you, but I'm a lot older than you, too. You took a video of that car and then sent it to your girlfriend. You remember what you were saying? That you were in a shooting and all this other stuff. All right? Okay. That's to sound tough, right? Okay. 
Han fandt til, at jeg er ude i haven. Nej. Så... It wasn't, it wasn't no plan to save Michael. It wasn't no plan. I called my cousin, we, we just linked up. We were smoking. We was chilling. Nigga, bro, 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 you contradicting yourself. This, bro, what are you talking about, bro? I, you been sitting tell these niggas for a guy, bro, you been telling these niggas for an hour that you, bro, what? Talk, that y'all set him up, now, now y'all didn't. And after that, I told him I was finna link up with Mike. I'm finna go, you know. But this, but before that, we picked my homeboys up, so we was just. So y'all did drive around. Smiley's right. Y'all did drive around and pick up two dudes. Yeah, Pat, and, Pat and Jay. Pat and Jay. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we we go back to my neighborhood. We smoking, smoking. After that. Cause me and Mike cool. I was like, I chased Mike. I was like trying to match, pull up on me. He pulled up on me, and we went to the apartment complex. To start so you got out of the car with Smiley and got in the car with Mike, and y'all went to y'all went away to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So Smiley's story's true up until this point. What he's told us. And when we left, me and Mike, we we was chilling for a few hours, like so. After that, my he had taken me. He was like, "Yeah, he'll send me a few dollars for some gas. So I can go get some gas. Went to go get some gas." He he left. He told me that's what he was finna do. So that's what he did. And after they, after he was finished, he told me he he was back over there. So Smiley went got gas, hung out, whatever for like four hours, mm -hmm. and then he texted you back and said. That he's back at the spot, which is the same spot y'all were smoking at earlier in the night, mm -hmm. with with Pat and Jay. Yeah. Okay. Right. And right now you're with still you're still with Mike. I'm still with Mike at this okay. point. Go from there. What happened after that? So after they, after they, we left the apartment. So I was like, hey, but I'm ready to go home. And Mike, he was like, he kind of he, he was looking kind of frustrated at that. Like he was like. Blowing his breath real hard, he was like, "I right. threw the car in park." He was being, being kind of aggressive. Where were you at right now? At at this point, we was leaving the apartments. No driving. You yeah, okay. like pulling out of the apartments, and he was going super fast, hitting the corners all day. Cause when you leave the apartment, it would go make a left, then it would be that long, the long street, the dark street, mm -hmm. right there. So, I was getting out. He pulled around with the car facing, like, the car would be facing the opposite way that we came. So, you can, like, drive straight off. So, at that point, I was getting out of the car. Like, all right, Mike, bro, I'm going to fuck with you. Like, saying goodbye, really. And then Mike was standing, he was standing, at that point, he was standing at the car. He was like... I was sit up on the car like I told y'all. Mike, he, I turned around. Mike had Mike had his gun in his hand. That don't even fucking make sense. So Mike gonna kill you because you, wait look, but Mike gonna kill you because you said you was gonna go home. Like he was like drawing it towards me, and I was scared. I didn't know what to do. So I turned, I turned around, I shot him. <laughs> and I had me stop shooting till the, till the bullets ran out. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear that shit, boy. This is a step in the right direction, okay? Getting it off your chest. <laughs> oh, what the fuck you're right here, man? <laughs> I'm on 18. Do you know why, Mike? Yeah, I heard that. Bro said he don't want to ride in there. He only 18, bro. Damn. <sighs> Damn. That's deep. Damn. That's a lot of people too. That's a lot of. That's a lot of young black men.
They don't want to ride it, and they only eighteen. That hit me right there. I ain't gonna lie. That that one, that one, that one hit me. Like I, out of everything he said, that was like that. That's him right there. That's him. Like everything he said before this, that's the real him. Bro said, I don't want to ride it here. I'm only eighteen. Like, bro, bro, no, like. He, if 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 he ain't do this, bro got his whole life in front of him. Like, bro, you 18. Do you know how much you could do it? Like, at 18 years old, do you know how, like, she crazy. Like, you know, you gonna, you gonna mess up at 18. You gonna mess up at, bro, even, bro, bro messed up completely at 18. Like, he can't bounce back from this. Let, let's take it back. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. Oh, what the fuck you right here, man? I'm on 18. Do you know why Mike pulled a gun on you? <laughs> like Mike, he like the smoke. Like he smoke and I'm... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was just thinking. I was thinking. You was finna throw a camera in this bitch for no reason? You was finna blame camera for no... And I stay with weed, like... Wow. I don't, I don't sell it, but like I stay with a good, with a decent amount of it for my own personal use. So when we was smoking, like I pulled out my bag of weed, like to. How much know, did you have? It, like, like a zip. About a zip. How much did Mike have? Mike had he he had already had his blunt rolled up, so he just pulled up. That's all he had. Yeah, he pulled up and his blunt rolled up, and he, opened, when we was in the car, he opened the little the little dash, pulled out the rillos. He was like, "You can come roll up." After that. I pulled my weed out. I was like pulling a few buds out so I can roll me a blunt up. And he was like, as I'm rolling up, like I can I I can see him looking. I saw him looking at me through the corner of my eye. Like I just saw him staring. He wasn't looking at me though, he was staring at the weed that I had sitting in my lap. But I didn't just look over there at him. I was just like, I didn't think nothing of it. I was just What's rolling my blunt up. After they, you know, we was smoking, we was high, whatever. I was like, yeah, and after that, I told him I was ready to go. So after that, yeah. I was like, dapping him up, all right, bro, I'll see you later, whatever. And he was like, like, as I was walking, like, <clears throat> when I when I was getting out of the car, Mike got out of the car, too. Like, he was host up on the, on the car. And I am... Like once I came from around, like so you came around the back of out the passenger side and around the back. No, I didn't like come around, but I was like walking on that side. Mm -hmm. So from from where the car was, at, I was I came around right here, and I was just like I was behind the car at this point, okay. finna finna walk back home. Okay. And I turned around. And I seen Mike. He was like had the gun in his hand, like. Did he say anything to you? Make you turn around? Look he, at him? I just looked back because I ain't have a good feeling about that. Cause like, why? Why are you standing out the car watching me? He don't ever do that when he dropped me off. Like he don't. When so he it, was, it would typically you would just get out. Yeah, and he bounce, would just drive off. He just drive off. But for some reason, the car didn't move. He didn't move. He, and he was, got out. He was standing on the car, and that that was that wasn't what he usually do. Okay. So something. He. I looked back. I seen him pulling up. Pulling up with the motion. Where were, where did you have your gun at? It was in my in my in front in my hoodie pocket. pocket. In your pocket. Mm -hmm. okay. And I didn't have a safety on. I had one in the head already. So once I seen it, I just well my first reaction, I just pulled mine out and I just started I just started going and I didn't stop until I didn't stop until I ran out. And, okay, after that, did he, he still falls to the ground like you're talking about. And then what happened? So when I got, I, I went, and, I went for his gun and I, I shot him in the head. Was it where was his gun laying at? Under the seat. I thought you said he had it out on the. Seat. Side. It was, you had. You had to like dig, cause at first when we was smoking, it was like he had it tucked right here between the 
the center console in the seat. Mm -hmm. And when we were driving, like I was, I was like, we were smoking. It was right though, cause I had the he had the lights on in the car, so I can like I could physically see. I saw the I saw the clip, the but I didn't see the the whole gun. Like I could see, I just saw the the grip part in the in the clip sticking out from sticking out from right there. So I'm like, like I saw, like I'm I'm aware that he had the gun in the car. Okay. So, but you said you, you, you saw when he got out, he raised up on you. Did he have the gun in his hand? He had the gun in his the hand. The same gun that was in the car? The, the Taurus, mm -hmm. Okay, so then when he raised up on you and you, to defend yourself, you, sh you, you, shot, you shot him. But where did you grab his, where was his gun at? The one that he had in his hand was going to raise up? He had two gun guns? Or did he, he, have one? he got two guns. He had. So where was the one he had in his hand when you went to go get him? When I, when, when he hit the ground, they, I don't know where the gun went, but I know he still had the, the ones took, took to the side right there. So I went for that one. I wasn't trying to go for the one that he had on his, he had on him. I was trying to go for that one in the car. Why wouldn't you go for the gun that he got on him? Because he, this is fuck. So yeah, I took I what? took that one out the car. I took the safety off and I shot him in the head. Okay. Okay. Well, where 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 did the other gun go that was on the ground? I don't know. Ever? You don't know where it went ever? Because when I, I I put like put the body in the trunk, like I was okay. So this this I stop. I slow down. Okay. Okay. We're all look, right. look. You feel a lot better now. You're getting off your chest. So, when they hear the shots, you FaceTime Smiley. Smiley told us what you said. So they come around the corner. Smiley, did Smiley get out of the car at all? He didn't get out of the car at all. Who got out of that car to come help you load the body? Pat dude. That was a dude who was in the back seat. With the, the beard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you told, oh, that's through the phone. Did you tell them, come help me do this? I was like, How did Pat know to get out? You're of not the jamming them up. Okay? No, you're not. We're just putting people like, in the store. I was like, I was like, bro, I just he, I, I just shot this dude. Like, I don't know what to do. Can you come over here? I'm like, I don't know what to do. So, so then, he drove around the corner, and he stopped. Like he flashed the lights from where we was there. And I was like, I don't know what to do, bro. I don't know what to do. Can somebody like help me? At least put it in a trunk or something. And Pat, he got out. Hey, got up. He helped me put the body in the trunk, and I. I'm just thinking about what is Cameron like thinking while watching this. This nigga's like this nigga trying to put me in jail. Like, ain't no mother. This nigga, hell nah, 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 nah. I, I, look at my gun. I had to a bad. I'm like, damn, that boy Cameron really had this nigga fucked up. It's you. And I drove off. Like I drove off. I, I hit the car and I. What did you drive the, the car to? I drove it like it was like a block away from my house. Okay. It was it was close, but not close. But it was in the right where you took the picture of it. Mm -hmm. Now, what what is Smiley and the rest of the two dudes do? After that, they just look. I got in. He was like, "Did you talk to them anymore after that?" I did talk to Smiley after that because I was like, because it was on my mind. Like I I had never done nothing like this before. I didn't know what to do. So I, was, I just went to him. I was like, "Bro, what what I'm supposed to do?" He was telling me, he was like, just just try to be cool, like keep your head on straight, try to just try to be keep a clear keep a clear head about it. Well let's go to another real side point. Did Cameron have anything to do with this? So Cameron is totally innocent. Where did you come up with Cameron? I just You don't like him or he 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 jacked me for some money. He jacked me for a large amount of money a while back. Like that's it. But yeah, it was a oh he, my god at gunpoint. But yo, but oh my god, oh my god. So Cameron robbed you one time. Yeah, he robbed gunpoint. All right, so let's talk about let's talk about something easier. Okay, I know this is tough. Where are the guns? 
that Mike had and that you shot Mike with. I'm in disbelief. I don't know. Where are they now? I gave him a pick. He and he when he I gave him to him like after he held me after he held me with the body, he, he asked for the guns. He was like like he was like, What the guns are I ran to the car and grabbed both of the guns and I gave them to him and he split and that's when they had a look. He split with Smiley. Mm-hmm. What does Pat in your phone ask? Like I didn't we didn't I didn't text Pat. I oh no, text no, it's okay. What is Pat in your phone ass? How do you I don't if have I gave Pat. you your phone right now, how would you get in touch with him? That's the thing, like I didn't get in touch with him. Was, Jay got in touch with him. Alright, how do we get in touch with Jay? Is Jay in your phone got a phone number and number? He Facebook. A I J. So y'all don't talk you don't have a phone number for either one of J or Pat. Nah. Look now, you've done all this. We're gonna get a phone number for Jay, and then I'm gonna put that phone number in your phone and see if you. It doesn't matter. It, it's not. It doesn't matter. matter. We're gonna find him. It just helps. It just helps me not have to yeah. go kick in Jay's mama's door. I yeah. can just call Jay on the phone. His name would be Let's Jay. Just with help the, me not with kick two leaves That's crazy. Two what? Two leaves, like the leaves. Yeah. That's yeah. That's him. But I, Pat, and I don't have he like we we pick Pat through through Jay. Yeah. Alright, so he got both guns. And then you did you leave the house just looking for somewhere to dump the car? Is that kinda of why you're riding around just trying to find a spot out in the country? Mm-hmm. So you had no general direction, you just trying to find somewhere. I was just trying to something to so I can keep the car so I can go home. I'm proud of you. I am. Look. I, I hope you believe that. I, have I lied to you or been ugly to you since we've been together? Yesterday yesterday or today, have I been ugly to you, lied at you, hollered at you, anything like that? I'm oh, sorry. Do you have any reason to believe what I'm telling you is not true? I believe. I'm proud of you. And look, I know. But you're getting life. <laughs> he said, I'm proud of you, but you're getting life. <laughs> what you did was... A bad, horrible thing. I'm not proud of that. But look, but look. If he pulled up on you with a gun and you were in fear for your life, then that helps you. And if that part is true, that's all I do. I'm, I'm scared, bro. Like, if that if ass. that part is true, we will try to help you. How can I prove that though? Because I don't want to see you. You seem like a good kid. I can't believe that you. You're the smartest See, they kid. They always do that. They always do that. You're the smartest kid yeah. that yeah. we have interviewed in this whole thing far and away. You know everybody's real names. Your mama and stepdaddy are both smart and speak well of you. Ain't nobody said anything bad about you. Facebook is full of people talking about how good of a kid you are. I really believe that. I believe you. You did a bad thing in a bad minute. Okay. But the best thing you can do for you and us and for your heart is be sure that we know every single detail. I know it's tough right now, but I'm telling you, it's the only thing that's going to make you feel better. Truth is the only thing that's going to set you free. Okay? So now, here's what we need to do. Here's, here's the next things I need to do. I need to know everywhere you went, and I need to put my hands on those guns. Okay? Because I don't need anybody else getting jammed up. I don't want... Pat to get jammed up with some murder weapons that he didn't have anything to do with, right? Mm-hmm. I, need to, I need to go get Cameron Powell out of jail. Alright? So, how am I going to need to get in touch with Pat to get these guns back? Because he ain't going to want to talk to the police. Where they live? Pat. Pat stay in Tanglewood. I don't know exactly where. What about Jay? Jay stay. He stay in the highway. Why I don't need to tell the truth now? Across the highway from me, uh, Belfer River. Mm-hmm. It's like a housing complex. Uh, what about the rubber gloves? I, I like I, I didn't have any gloves on. I was in the car and then like, cause it all happened so fast. Like 
I didn't I didn't even put gloves on to to put the body in the trunk. So they might just be random pair yeah, of gloves. Yeah, I think so. I think that was hard to do. But yeah. Well, look, I know you, you feel relieved and you feel a little terror right now, but if the story you're telling me is true, you're in a much better spot right. than you were before this. If there's any two people that are going to help you, we won. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to jam you up. I'm not, look now, I'm not telling you that I'm going to get you out of this. I'm telling you that if I can help you, I'm going to help you. All right? You can believe that or you can not believe that, but you can walk back. You can walk back to where you're going and knowing that I'm I'm pissing the lead here and I'm gonna do the best I can to do to we're gonna make this go the best way we can. Okay. Is there anything else? I'm out of questions. I don't have any more questions. But is there anything else you wanna go ahead and tell us? Did we forget? We're pro we're probably not coming back, okay? This video was long as hell because this nigga was capping for a whole for, for that long. For, for what? For man, I, I just want to know how long this man serving for. Uh, this nigga lied on camera for like a cool hour, and then then, then in the next 30 minutes, you want to say, Nah, it was me, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I am, uh, it's hot as hell in my room, nigga. I've been sitting in this bitch, listening to your ass a lot, bro. Wait, can y'all see me sweat? But I'm sweating. I'm a sweating. But, like, you got, you got my head hurting. I was... <sighs> bro, Michael, 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 Michael. I don't even know if this nigga even telling the truth. Like, I was believing this nigga. The, the, the whole hour he was telling telling us, like, oh, yeah, it was Cam. Nigga said Cam and Rob. Yo, just stay out the way, man. I... Just stay out the way. Because, like, the way that people end up in these situations is insane. Um, I, I, I don't even know what to tell y'all. Because wh what I told y'all previously for an hour is cap. So, I don't even know if I, what I'm going to tell y'all is even is, is even real. Um, oh, my God. Michael. Michael. Y'all, just stay safe, bro. Stay out the way. Um, I always, I always question everything. Question the people around you. Question... Question, question, literally everything people do around you. Question yourself too. Like if you if you ever find yourself envy or jealous of somebody, question that. Always be like, why, why, why am I? Why I feel some type of way because he got more money? Why I feel this way because he's talking to this girl? Always, bro. That's something inside you, bro. That's a, that's a, it's a it's an insecurity inside you. You gotta question that, bro. Like you not you not gonna get no better just living with that, bro. You gotta you gotta you gotta question everything. In your mind, bro, cause like at the end of the day, bro, that's that's gonna lead somewhere. It's probably gonna lead to an addiction, something like this. But always, always try to communicate. And sometimes, as men, we feel like we can't go to nobody, we can't talk about our feelings, bro. Even write write it down, something. But yo, I love y'all. We almost have 500 subscribers. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I see y'all boys and girls next episode. Wait, I said next episode, next video. We out. Yeah. <laughs>